Hi, so today I will show you and teach you how to paint the Vault Dweller or the Soul Survivor or whatever you want to call him from uh, Fallout Westland Warfare. So the first uh, step will be to prime the model. So for this you can use any paint spray but uh, I, uh, I prefer to use this, which is Vallejo Black Primer, which I'm going to use with my airbrush. So in case you are new to miniature painting, the primer is uh, well primary used to in order to get a good grip on the model regarding the paint. If you don't use primer, your paint won't just stick to the model, it will take it will get off. So now what I'm going to do is use what we call the the pre pre shading so for this i'm using a bit of white in the airbrush and i'll spray it from above only so for the next stage this is a primary blue uh, model, so I'm going to use this one. This is uh, Valeo Game Air and it is uh, Ultramarine Blue. So now what I'm going to do is uh, spray some very thin layer of paint over the model and you will see why the um, pre-shading is a very useful technique. Alright, so now that it's blue, I want a bit more highlight on the model, so I'm going to use a lighter blue, which is this time uh, Prince August, which is the, the French version of Valeo. It's a uh, bleu clair, which would be light blue. And if you want the exact same one, it's, uh, the number is 89. So, it is, what I'm doing is highlight. So, it will obviously be on the top part of the model where the light is supposed to, to hit it. Here, so this one has no, no highlight except for the prey shading and this one got the pre-shading and then the light blue highlight on top of it. Now, we have both models with the blue at least hairbrushed because I'm going to do add some paintbrush work on top of it later. But what I'm going to do now is the leather. For this, I'm going to use um, in the first time dark brown, so here I got uh, chocolate brown from uh, the range's uh, coat d'arms.
Ja. The blue is partially done. The leather is just started, so we're going to finish with the leather before anything else. So I got these three colors here from uh, Formula P3, which I really like to use when it comes to leather. It's uh, here I got uh, Blood Tracker Brown. I got Menoth White Highlight and finally I got Beast Hide. So I just mix all of the paints in uh, different quantities and use it to, to do some highlights here. So here I got the orangey brown on the brown and I just add some highlights here and there I'm adding, adding a bit of white in the mixture It's uh, the old Citadel brown ink, and I will add this at some spot, some spot all over the, the leather. So now. I'm taking the this one and I'm going to add some more scratches here and there. Now I use only this one. And finally, I will mix these two together. As you can see, there is a huge difference between the two. What we are going to do is start working on the flesh. So for this, the first, first color I'm going to use is um, so it's uh, sun tanned flesh. And here we go.
So now I will use uh, Rickland Flesh Shade. So this is a shade paint. So a wash, if you want. It's a very thin paint that will help you have uh, good shadows. Yeah. I'm going to use the same paint as before, so, so the suntanned flesh. And I'm going to highlight, I don't know if it's the right word here, the face. So now what I'm going to do is add a bit more highlights. So for this I'm going to use the color which is called Flesh by Cut Down still and mix it with the previous one which was, was uh, Sun Tanned Flesh. So now that the face is done, we can start working on the the hair. So I take obviously a bit of black paint. So now I will add some white in the black to get grey and add some highlights to it. Now, let's do the metallic spot. So now that the silver paint is ready and dry, I'm going to once again wash it, but with black. I will now add a second um, wash. This time it's uh, a dark brown and it's called Strong Tone by Army Painter. So now 
We are going to paint a very, very important part of this model, which is the pit boy. So I'm using a very pale, pale uh, green, which is called Faded Olive, by still the same brand, which is Cot Downs. And I'm just going to use this color over the pit boy. Now that the, the green is dry, I'm going to wash it. So I used the strong tone I used previously for the guns and just apply it on the thing. So now I'm going to do work on the on the rifles, so I'm going to use um, a brown, pretty basic brown. Here it is uh, Kaltan Brown by Games Workshop Citadel. So here. So while it's drying, there are, there are some bandages on, on the rifles. So I'm going to paint them using, using this color, which is called pale sand. So here. Okay, so, as you can see, the rifles are done, so now we are going to uh, damage a bit the metallic parts, so all the washes are dry, so I'm taking back the exact same uh, silver I used as a, as a base color, and I just will add some edge highlights and the scratches like you can see here so the here the pistol looks a bit more old used and uh, well damaged by the wasteland And I will do the same thing on the Pip Boy to make it look like it's uh, well, it's in uh, things in the wasteland. So we are almost done with these two. So now what we are going to do are all the all the yellow parts of the uniform. So I'm going to use at the start a pretty saturated yellow. I don't know. It was the old uh, Citadel foundation paint. The only things left to do are some highlights on the pants and shirts and then the base and they, they will be finished. 
So, I will use uh, a lighter blue. So here I'm using uh, what they call shadow gray. And I will mix it with a bit of white. This should do the job pretty well. You have your first two models for this game. 